Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, to some battles with the wonderful American Tier 4 cruiser Phoenix, which turns out to be a really good ship, pretty good range, pretty good maneuverability, and a very nice amount of guns, which you will see once we are in battle. So let's see what we get. And we get into a, what is it, tier 5 match. That's okay. Some tier 3s. Tier 4 and tier 5 aircraft carrier. Tier 3 to tier 5 battleships. At least on our team. So, yes, look at that. We have 10 guns in total. So reload time of just under 7 seconds. So what we're gonna do, we go straight for C, will we? We just have one ship here. I will go for C, see how much enemy ships we have there. And then decide what to do next. Best thing would be to capture C and then go through that little straight here. Basically go here, Autopilot mode enabled. go there. We'll see, let's see how that turns out. And another good thing, we even have torpedoes with a pretty good spread. Also the range again. 5.5 kilometers. That's not not the best of course, but it's acceptable. And the guns have 13 kilometers range, which is very nice. We have another Phoenix, okay. Torpedoes, really? That far away. I need to hit them. Is that a Bari? Okay. Oh, he's trying to. Well, let's do the same then. Yeah. Well, those are even, I have no idea. No idea about the armor of the Ubari. So we keep on firing high explosives so I can set them on fire. Let's see if we can. No? His engine is knocked out. Come on, reload. But I have way too many cruisers shooting at me right now. Enemy destroyer blown up. At least we got one and the Ubari was half dead. even half dead, it was way more than half dead. And the Tenryu finishes the job for us, that's nice.
even less torpedoes in the water? No, that's the airplanes. Let's see if that works. No, he could evade them all. And we jump right into the next game. And see if we can be a bit more careful this time. Also, I wonder why is his name Red? Never seen that before. We'll see. Hmm. It's even in that list. Oh, it's pink. Isn't pink the team kill color? I need to be careful. Was it aircraft carrier? Hmm. I will keep that in mind. So more careful. How do we do that? Tier four. It's only tier four, so no tier five surprises. So we'll take a small 360 so that I'm not first anymore. Seems like that even was a good idea. Why is he firing torpedoes at what? Come on, come on, come on, stop it, ship. Kilometers a worry once more. And the collision might have messed up my turning radius. No, it didn't. This ship just turns great. Can't say that any other way. Seems 
to have no regard for ranges whatsoever, that guy. probably got us. The barrel is easily able to evade those torpedoes. What did I steer right into our own guys' torpedoes? I have to check that. In the video. That would be annoying. Most annoying part, I had some pretty good games in that ship, but those two weren't one of those. I will try to make it up next time. Was it the king? Nope. Two to point. He might just got the team killing thing from his torpedo planes accidentally hitting one of the own ships. I wonder how that thing performs. Looks very old to me though. That has quite a lot of hit points for tier 3. And seems to have a lot of guns. Two, three, four, eight. Nice. And here come the torpedo bombers. They just no, there they are. Luckily, they all missed. They will not miss. They will just despawn. <laughs> oh, that guy was lucky. They seem to be pretty quick firing as well, the guns on the Aurora. But the damage he does is... Not the biggest. Maybe he doesn't know. Not who I want to watch, not this one either, this one. Right. 
just giving our aircraft carrier a hard time. Yeah. Only seems to have one bomber squadron left with three fighters. That was a big damage. Really no damage again. Now the aircraft defenses kick in and there come another load of torpedoes. The very sloppy draw. Still one will hit. Oh, and he does the X spread torpedo thing. Uh, get one from the front and one in a in an angle. Two hits in total. Not the biggest hit though. We could decelerate before it hit, it seems. Six turrets, which is a good thing considering the reload time from battleships. But there's not much le else left, just another battleship and one cruiser. At least our aircraft carrier did something, or one of them at least. I wonder if the matchmaker takes the loadout into account. Like if you have an aircraft carrier that just has fighter planes on it, it would be kind of useless if there would be no other aircraft carrier around. No, final blow. Come on. No. Oh. There he goes. Three battleships of the enemy left. And there seem to be no more fighters in the air. Friendly fighters, that is. I guess he already left back to the port. He's not even running. to the side for the Japanese carrier. Yeah, at least has some art uh, small artillery cannons. But of course it's no battleship. Uh. 
the battleship gets under fire while they try to secure their kill. Sadly our own guy is nearly dead and he won't be able to defeat three battleships. And our second battleship is at the edge of the map. What's the cruiser doing by the way? Because that looks either back to port, disconnected or just AFK. In any case, which will basically mean end of the game for us. Both of our aircraft carriers seem not to have any torpedo bombers or bombers left in the aircraft squadrons in general. What are you doing? Trying to ram him? Team killer is sunk. But I still say it might not have been intentional. And even if he's trying to sink him, kudos for that, that won't work out. There we go. Since it's just two battleships, we might be able to cap actually. Well, that would be a shame for the for them. We see it's tier four versus uh, tier three versus tier five. Although he is on fire, fires out. No repairs left, I presume. All used up. Assuming Yogi. Kawachi has the 30 seconds reload time, which is forever. Oh, 81 HP. Now just a slight scratch will sink him. But he did a good job. He just has to stay out of trouble. Enemy battleship. Oh, there it is. 17 kilometers. Miyogi range. Ooh. I can't remember, but it might be possible. We'll see. No shells in the air. trying to close in and Link is trying to keep the distance. 
good job. enough time to cap. Wonderful done. Well, at least one win, even if I didn't do very well as well. Still, the Phoenix, it can do it. I will see if I capture some more. Wait, we won the first game as well? Nice. Did we? We might have. So, let's see. 3,600. Uh, 8,000. There's still a way to go, but Phoenix, give it a try if you have the chance. You can do pretty good with that ship, just for the amount of guns, the firing, the maneuverability, and if you keep an eye out for the map, which I obviously still don't seem to do well enough, then you have good chances with that one. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.